Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about OpenCore Legacy Patcher version 1.4.3 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Today a new version of OCLP is released, which is version 1.4.3. With the release of OpenCore Legacy Patcher version 1.4.3, this build is primarily targeted for Mac OS 14.4, 14.4.1, and Macs with non-metal graphics cards. With the earlier OCLP builds, there were support issues for a few machines with non-metal GPUs. With this issue, users were unable to upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma 14.4 or 14.4.1. This OCLP build resolves support for those machines with non-metal GPUs. MacBook 5.1 to MacBook 7.1, early 2008 to mid-2010. MacBook Air 2.1 to MacBook Air X, mid-2008 to mid-2011. MacBook Pro 4.1 to MacBook Pro 8X, late 2008 to late 2011. iMac 7.1, iMac 12X, mid-2007 to mid-2011. Mac Mini 3.1 to Mac Mini 5X, early 2009 to mid-2011. And Mac Pro 3.1 to Mac Pro 5.1, early 2008 to mid-2012. The affected GPU models were AMD Terascale 1 and 2, 2000 to 6000 series, NVIDIA Tesla 8000 to 200 series, NVIDIA Maxwell and Pascal 900 to 1000 series, Intel Iron Lake HD series, Intel Sandy Bridge HD 3000 series. Moving forward and talking about OCLP 1.4.3 changelog, update non-metal binaries for macOS. Sonoma, resolve Terascale 2 screen recording kernel panic. Resolve dock location after changing screen resolution. Resolve 14.4 login window crashes. Patch skip logo on Macs that natively support Monterey or newer. Resolves missing Apple logo on the boot screen. Increment binaries, open core package 0.9.9. .9. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for open core legacy patcher. To update to the current release of OCLP, click on download and install, and the new version will be downloaded. Proceed with the prompts after you get this notification. When you get the success message, click on Yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed. And after that, click on the EFI partition and enter the password when prompted. When you get the success message, click on Yes from the menu. Click on the Start Root Patching option and proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the Reboot option, and then restart your Mac, and you're done.
And as you can see after the restart, OCLP has been successfully updated to the latest version, which is version 1.4.3. So that was all about this OCLP build, version 1.4.3. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.